Hey guys, Ozgrills here. Today we're going to show you how to add to your auto host on Twitch. Let's do it. Hey guys, first things first about this channel is we do Streamlabs OBS tutorials, Twitch tutorials, OBS tutorials. We do graphic design videos such as how to design your own sub badges and emotes and how to upload them. We also have a podcast called Talking Corner where we go over ways you can grow your stream and just have a bit of a good time. So if any of that tickles your fancy, hit that subscribe button and let's get to the video. All right guys, so it's quite a relatively easy process. What we're gonna do here is go to our Twitch main screen here, the home page, and we're gonna click on ourselves in the top right and then we are going to go to create a dashboard. All right, now that we are here, we're going to hit the top left three lines. We're going to go down to preferences and we're going to go to channel. And then it's going to come up here and we're going to keep scrolling all the way down until we get to auto hosting. So we're going to have auto host channels ticked, host team channels if you're part of a team. Most people aren't unless you're partnered or you're good mates with a partner. Um, you can choose to host pre-recorded videos or not. I choose not to. I don't really agree with the, the whole rerun thing. And then you can have priorities. So you can host priority from in the order they appear on the list. So if you wanted to list them in order, or you can just host channels randomly from the list. So to go to your host list, just click this button here. And that's my list there. Um, haven't updated this in a long time, so don't be offended guys if you're not on it. Um, and just in order of so how you do, search channel the host. Uh, there's Waffle Bandit right there, so we'll just hit add. And there's Waffle right there. You can remove them too, say you're um, you know, not wanting to auto host someone anymore. We'll get rid of Oz Grillbot here and we'll remove. Gone. You can grab a hold of someone and push, push them in front of someone else. If you want to change the uh, order. Completely up to you. Um, and then once you're done, you just go like this. And it's done. So then we'll go back to your own profile channel. And there's no one on right now. So what I would do is go to my chat. So I'll just check who's on here. Okay. So we've got Mist Walkers online, Mist Walker R1. So we'll go to our chat and go host forward slash host mist walker uh, one and now we are hosting mist walker oh and it actually went through to him <laughs> should check mist walker out too he's an amazing streamer um and yeah guys that's how you do an auto host and how to host someone from your own chat um another way to host someone as well is to go at the top here and go to create a dashboard again and then hit here, host a channel, and then type in who you want. But if you just wanted to work out your auto host when you're not around, and if they're online when you're not around, then you do it the other way. That's so quite simple, guys. All right, guys, well, thanks so much for watching the video. Hopefully you now know how to add auto host to your Twitch channel. It's quite a simple act. Just getting to know it is the difficult bit. Want someone to auto host you, send them a link to this video. Please subscribe to the channel. It'll mean so much. Uh, we're slowly building up to that thousand. Uh, for the YouTube partner program. So I'd really appreciate it if you could drop that sub and guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you